For Android users, the first step is to go into the Google Play Store to install the application. Next, we're going to turn the power on the overall camera. Once the camera turns on, the LED light is red. The LED light will start blinking in about 30 seconds, which means we are able to begin our initial setup. We can go into the Scene Cam application, which we just downloaded. We will have to tap that green plus sign and scan the QR code that is located on the bottom of the camera. Once the application identifies the QR code, a screen will come up that will enable you to change the name of the device that you have just installed. Once you have changed the name, hit Next. We're going to choose Initial Setup and then press Next. In order to complete the initial setup, we need to now connect to the Wi-Fi, enter the Wi-Fi password to successfully connect. For the Android, there will be a four-step setup that may take up to three minutes. Once you've completed the setup, you will come to the green preview pop-up screen. Here, you can rotate your Android horizontally and zoom in or out using the 64 time digital zoom that is provided. From here, we can hit the third icon. You will now see that there are a number of different options you can choose from to share your device. To start the direct link setup, we have to first push our mode button on the back of our scene smart cam until the LED light turns blue. Hit the back button and you will notice that the green bar has changed to the blue, showing you that you are now directly linked to your scene cam. For more information on our products and services, check out our website. We hope this video helped you successfully set up your Seeing Smart Cam. And again, we wanted to thank you for using our product.